Hello. Welcome, oh, hello. Welcome to the Nuts video podcast. <laughs> this this is not the bit in the Nuts podcast. It isn't. And we, we beat them this week for a bit, but now they're ahead of us again. You're bad people. You should have... Stop, that, stop well, subscribing. You're not, the people you haven't asked to subscribe to this are bad people. And don't look at Nuts. Don't look at it. I no. looked at it for you. We looked at it. You don't need to look at and it. And it's just a woman in a bra it's sitting 40, on a bed. 45 seconds of a woman in a it's bra. It's a lot shorter. I mean, that. some of them are shorter than what we've done. We've done 32 seconds. Some of them are 30 seconds long. Yeah, so you've already finished. They're more popular than us. But I, if we... If we don't consistently beat them, I'm going to suggest that we do a video podcast in our pants. For 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, next week. And we'll, I'll, I'll film it. Yeah. Like, all you've got to, to be like the nuts one, all you've got to do is look slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the one we watched, the woman looked very... And then, and then she pulled the kind of face that I think she was trying to look sexy, but it looked just like she was in quite a lot of pain. And, and she was trying to work a really hard question out. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? It was good. Have a look. I said, now, now, everyone's going to go and look. look everyone's going to go and look. We made it sound brilliant. It's not it is, brilliant. You couldn't. It's you know, tawdry. It's, and, and that which it is designed for yeah. probably will take longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> it probably will. And it's not, there's not enough, you know, there's better things on the internet if you want to do that. In any case, I would say it's just, you know, it's like a Freeman's catalogue for the 21st it is, yeah. century. It's a moving <laughs> bra section. Um, of the case catalogue. It doesn't even say explicit next to it on the podcast charts. No. Some of the are, I've never, never heard them. Some of the comedy ones have got explicit written. They are. We haven't. Some of them got clean written by them as well, <laughs> <don't they? laughs> Which is we embarrassing. Got, we've got nothing written by yeah. us. So how do we get explicit? What do we have to say? Well, we, you know what we have to say. I'm not going to say it. We've probably said it already. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to beat nuts again. We're going to beat them this week. And... We've now got a Wikipedia entry <laughs> for this podcast. For the first three, he's got whoever put it together has got bored and not yeah, put already the bored. Board. Not put the thought on it. Thanks for that. Um, and it says that uh, it has a light tone, yeah, and occasionally um, goes up into some dark digressions yeah. or something like that. And it says that you refer to me as your <laughs> colleague and not your friend. <laughs> Which I don't remember you really doing, but that's that's apparently your running it's joke. true. So we better keep that yeah. going. Yeah. I oh, think can I just say you're listening to the Collings and Herring podcast? Yeah. Because I'm going to do that through the through yeah, the keep doing through it. the podcast to remind you. Yeah. This is the first uh, ever <laughs> weekly one. It is. In that we only did one last week, but we decided to do this as an experiment because we thought, well, there's a lot of news. There is. So so we'd be wasting the, the news. We're wasting the news if we don't do it every fortnight. So this is only going to be, what, three minutes long, so we're nearly finished. This is going to be much, <laughs> much shorter because we do it every week. We don't, yeah. want to, don't want to bore anyone. That's true. It's been a bad week or a good week for, for famous deaths. Well, um, which? Is it good or bad? Depending on how you look at it, what? You, who thinks it's good that famous people die? Undertakers. <laughs> no, they just think it's good anyone dies. They're not particularly. No, that's true. Suppose they get a bit more if you know it's a famous person. Yeah, but a not, rich person, not Foggy from last summer. No, Foggy is, is Foggy. Summer. Foggy is dead. Um, the Sun and make it very clear their uh, their priorities. They've got a big story about uh, Brian Wilde who played Foggy, and uh, much to uh, Richard's um, shock. Also played Mr. Barrowclough on Poets. I didn't realise he did it was nothing. the same bloke. I don't really watch Last of the Summer Wine. I hadn't, I hadn't twigged it. He wears glasses in Last of yeah, the Summer Wine. He's barely recognisable. Right. No, it was incredible. It's like Clark Kent. He's, um, he's died, sadly. But he died in his sleep and he was 80. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but the way they've done it on the side is brilliant. It says, farewell, Foggy, you'll be missed. Massive headline, yeah. big picture. And then at the very bottom of the page, it says, Oscar Paul, 86, dead. That's it. <laughs> Paul Schofield, the... Uh, the son have got their pride. Who of cares stage about stage and screen? Who cares about Paul Schofield? No, not no, normal people. Don't. Radio Four. It was the other way around. Yes, and, and Foggy came down. I get it now. You'll be missed. M I S T because he's foggy. He's foggy, yeah. and it's M I S T. Yeah. Now, in, in, I think on the uh, on the Radio Four news, they just said Foggy eighty dead. That was it. I'd have said <laughs> Barracla, you're eating ambrosia, not porridge. Now, oh, that's, that's what I'd have said. You just thought of that, yeah. That's on the I spot, put... humour. <laughs> we don't <laughs> compare anything. Ambrosia cream rice is like porridge as well. So it is, yeah. If they actually had that, then it wouldn't be... It would be... It's you could have a picture of the two things. They could mock it up. They could. Because they do a lot of mock-ups on the papers. Oscar Paul dead. Nothing to say about him, really. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar well, there's, Paul... no pun, there's no pun there's there for Paul Schofield. No, there? there's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> and nobody cares who he is. He had one role that anyone cares about, and that was in A Man for All Seasons, and he played Thomas Moore. He was, he? he was Salieri in the stage... He was did a lot of stage work. He did Salieri in the original production of Amadeus with old What's His Face from Four Weddings. Which one? The old uh, boomy actor the bloke who... I can't think of his name. But you, you don't even know that 
Brian Wilde played two of the great comic roles. <laughs> I know, because I'm more company. interested in Paul Schofield and the bloke from, oh, you know, the one big boomy, the one who dies in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Oh, him, yeah. Simon Callow. Simon Callow. Simon Callow. Simon Cowell. Stop the clock. <laughs> they made that poem very famous, and everyone had bought it. That's shallow people are. Pathetic. <laughs> what, you have to wait till a comedy film has a poem in it before you go and look at some poetry. Yeah. You pathetic, shallow <laughs> idiots. Well, that's, it's good that they've popularised... Go yeah, on, we can't. Well, we can't. When did the um, suitcases start having wheels on? I thought about this today when I was coming up here, because all suit because uh, the line coming out to Hammersmith near where you live yeah. has a lot of people going to Heathrow on it. It's a lot of people with cases. And they've all yeah. got wheels on now and handles, big handles. Yeah. When did that happen? Because uh, when I was little, we didn't have there were no wheels on. Nineteen eighty-three. Is that the year? Yeah. Because yeah. it's just weird how suddenly it happened, and it's such an obvious idea. It is, but I thought the other day, if you're going to talk about this subject, that you know, you end up people end up tripping over them quite a lot because you don't, if, especially. In like a crowded tube, I had one the other day. Yeah, and so you're pulling along behind you, and people just see a person, and because oh, they people. don't realise there's a case. And so I bet like quite a few people have been seriously injured, possibly even killed. Like if you know anyone who has been killed by a suitcase with wheels on it, because I thought I thought to myself, wow, the man who invented this probably didn't think you know I will kill someone. No, he probably indirectly, but I bet he has. Not like the bloke who invented CFCs, <laughs> Thomas Midgley. He didn't think it would kill people. Not the yeah. bloke who invented dynamite. Yeah, he knew that. Was, yeah, he knew that was going to kill, kill people. people. Yeah, that was true. So John McCain is in the country. I thought I saw him actually. On the-